For our third and final set, we are again going to do star jumps for 30 seconds, and then for 30 seconds, we're going to do back kicks. So let's go. Let's get ready for those star jumps. And go. Seconds left. Three, two, one. Check the legs out again. One more round of back kicks. Two seconds. And go. Let's get to the weights. For our third and final set of weights this week, we are now going to do continuous bicep curls with the elbows on the knees for 30 seconds. So you're going to get in position, put your elbows on your knees, and then just for the 30 seconds, you're going to continue doing your curls. When we've done that for 30 seconds, we're going to place the weight on our shoulders and then for 30 seconds we're going to change legs doing forward lunges. So with that said, let's go. Let's get ready for those bicep curls. So final balance, be flat and let's go and we just turn. So make sure it's a weight heavy enough that gives you some resistance, but not so heavy that you have elbow pains or shoulder pains or something like that. It must be manageable. And let's get up. Put the weight on our shoulders. Wait for the countdown timer. And go.
you're basically trying to isolate your biceps so that you're not using your shoulders or your upper body to lift the weight. Just want to use those bicep muscles for this exercise. Almost done. And done. Place the weight on our shoulders. We wait for the countdown timer. Let's go. Final core exercise, feet flat, knees bent, lower back on the floor, and reach, and imagine someone heavy sitting on your stomach, you can't get up but you're trying, just lift the shoulders, keep stretching up while pushing your stomach down. Hold. Seven seconds left. No one quits on seven seconds. And done. And that's it for this week. Let's quickly get to the cool down.